Hello everyone, this is Grayshot. It is 1 o'clock in the morning. I just got off a 16 hour shift and I got a box. Now you may be asking what's in the box. Um, well, the good news is uh, it no longer has an address on it, which is really positive because that's the last thing I wanted you to see. But I do want you guys to see what is in this. So, I, like I said, I have no idea. I know it's from Relic, which is fantastic, um, but I don't know. Was I expecting a package, especially one coming so late, or maybe it arrived earlier, but like, again, I, I was not expecting to open a package this late. If I sound a little crazy and disheveled, again, 16 hour work day, so there's that. It is Every Battle Tells a Story, 1943, so just to kind of put it there. So, uh, and again, you can see the tin here, like a little scraped up, and the, the, there's actually texture there. So it's not just like a print, there's actual, it's a little bit hard to see with the glare, but there we go. Uh, this is, uh, Co. 3 number one. Oh my god! Okay, real quick. 118 out of 750. My name is 117. You're so close! So close! Look, it's like I said, it's 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna nitpick this. I'm also very thankful for this. Beyond my, uh, really stupid reason, um, this, this literally looks like you, you got it from your grandfather's place and you shipped it. So there's actual, like, dirt coming in. I'm, I'm a little concerned. The Co. 310, that's cool. But like I said, it makes it feel as if, you know, you went, your, your grandfather or great-grandfather passed away and you're going through this stuff and you're like, hey, what's in the box? All right, what's in the box? What is this? Okay. First off, we have, like, what looks like a bird's nest, and little rocks, so okay. So again, really, really nailing that, like, hey, uh, this, a bird got into it. What, what a feeling, man, okay. Even my cat's interested, she's like, bird? Is there, is there, is there a bird? I'm, I, I'm not trying, like, I'm not trying to be, literally there is, like, a bunch of, like, debris in here. So, just trying to navigate. All right, I, I think this is a flag. Okay, so we got ourselves an American flag. Cool, all right. As an American, I approve. So we got US Forces. It has some wear and tear on it. I, I actually kind of like it. This is really cool. I don't know what I'll do with it. Um, I'll put it up somewhere, but uh, we'll, we'll, here, we'll set it to the side for now. Tally, you are to watch this. It's next to the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Keep an eye on it. Oh, oh wait, before, wait, hold on, hold on. You've probably seen this. Uh, uh, and by that I mean like the image. Company of Heroes celebrating 15 years. Okay. Wait, and I by see this I mean all the flags kind of grouping together. It's, uh, at the very least, it reminds me of some classic World War II uh, Allied pamphlets and posters and stuff like that for recruitment purposes. Everyone's everyone's working together to kick some access butt. Uh, speaking of which, uh, we have an operation to take casinos. So you can see here it's like Casino Corner. So, all right, we have. The different hills and defenses, I guess, lying around with some, I guess, allied holds? And I guess this might be, uh, wait, hold on, based on original artwork by Chaplin for Time. Oh, that's cool. So they literally pulled this and made it. This is awesome. I will probably put this somewhere. Although, to be fair, uh, this is also a cool map, so probably, probably this one, because I, I like the Company of Heroes bit. But I do like my maps. I do like my maps and map games. We got a letter. Some parts are crossed out. Um, I'll, I'll narrate to you because of course everyone knows I'm the best at um, going over stuff and uh, not mispronouncing it. This is October 27th, 1943. So that, and again I could be wrong chat, but I believe that would put it squarely around Monte Cassino with the allies pushing. Uh, Dear mom and dad, thanks for your letter. I do, I apparently can't read. I do come, I do, is that some? Oh my god, I'm already, I'm already tripping on words. I do some reading, not on, on things, are back home. So please keep sending me the letters, the, the late, oh, latest news. Some of the, some of the guys don't get many letters, so I always tell them what's happening back in, uh, Blightly. Blighty is, 
a faction a term for Britain or England, chiefly around World War One, World War Two soldiers. Okay, so this is a British soldier. Okay, don't worry, Mum. Okay, there we go. That immediately we have got Mum. Uh, I I sip the. I'm sorry. I snip or sip. I, I snip? Oh my god, I'm so terrible. The personal stuff. Uh, th oh, no, things here have been a bit lively here since I- even the, even the cat's like, shut up. We got some pictures, uh, which I can, uh, easily say. Is that, uh, okay, so we got a landing facility, that's cool. Oh, wait, hold on. We got- we got some secret info here, we got some landings. Um, so, there- there- there are the landings. Shh, don't tell anyone, this is contraband. My keyboard is just covered in this. Oh no, I think this is a bad idea to open up my keyboard. Oh, the, it's fine. So we got landings here. There we- wait, is that it? Yes, there we go. We're- we're- we're decrypting information, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, we got some- you put them together and I think that's it. I- I think that's it. So we got some secret notes of battle lines on here which we got green and blue and blues that I'm assuming this is advancing up Italy or off the coast anyway whatever it is whatever the battle is we're just kind of there again I think the sleep deprivations hitting me all right anyway uh, we got next stock Rome Montgomery's eighth army strikes at uh, Reggio Calabria uh, British and Canadian forces storm across Strait of Messina this began the latest offensive against Adolf Hitler's forces. Further landings are expected over the coming days, and with the removal of Benito Mussolini, it can only be a matter of time before Italy falls to Allied advance. Germany remains defiant, but after a defeat in North Africa and a successful eviction of forces from Sicily, the German war machine is beginning to falter. Um, the Allied push in Italy can only be uh, seen as the next step in the inevitable liberation of Europe. Cool, what's back here? Gas mask to <laughs> Oh my god, really? Gas mask debate rages on. I can't wait to hear this. Politicians have once again raised the question of introducing fines for members of public who venture out without the government issued gas mask. I'm gonna go outside and I'm going to breathe that toxic air and even if it kills me, it's my it's my god-given right. In a, in a question to the Prime Minister, several members of the opposition expressed concerns that they're- Oh my god, well, I was joking, but this is actually a thing. German gas attacks had not diminished and that the country's complacency could lead to an unnecessary loss of life. <laughs> oh my god. God, uh, the Prime Minister reiterated the ports of public diligence in the matter and once again expressed his belief that ongoing education campaign would be sufficient to ensure the British people understand the nature of the serious threat. But remember guys, those who forget history are doomed to repeat it. I mean, look, I'll give credit. It's like painted, like, dirt and debris. We also got a baggie. So I got a baggie with Company of Heroes on it. Alright, so we got Company of Heroes, 15 years. And we got something here. I'm trying to get some more dirt off it. All right, what what what's on the patch? What what is it? Is it a walrus? Not walrus. Uh, a, a, what? Oh god, no! Is it a bird? Is it a bird? What is this? Chat. What is this? You t tell me what this is. I'm moving this around so you get a better idea. This will probably like come to me, but again, it's it's my sleep depraved brain just not like putting two and two together. I don't know what this is. I don't know. Oh, okay, wait, we have an- Oh, I see now, it's a- you got a helmet, right? You got a helmet, and then you got, uh, let, let, let me try to figure out this. You got an eye? I think that's an eye, right? And then you have, uh, is it a- Oh, it's a beaver! Oh my god, okay, so it's an eye, that's the beaver's gun, and then he's wearing this. I am a dumbass. Okay, so we have a we, we have a beaver going to war. Good luck. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm sure they could use beavers on the front line. Uh, maybe the Soviets could use any men they got. We got another rock. Got a rock. And then I got a, oh I got a pin. Every battle tells a story. Again, a pyramid with a sun. Um, because again, the other side we we have Rome. So obviously, this is where. Uh, we might be, you know, battling in, in Co. 3, where this one is a reference to Armageddon, with the asteroids hitting the pyramids. So obviously, I get what Relic's going for. We got, we got, uh, you know, the Colosseum for Rome, which again, you're fighting in Italy, and then you have reference to, uh, 90s movie. 
that, that I definitely nailed it. Absolutely. Okay, so moving on, uh, we'll move that to the side. Um, what else is in here? Is it more rock? No, we actually got some uh, thing under the rocks. They're never saying me anything ever again. If they see this, they're like, what? Why? Why? <laughs> Who said yes to this man? Okay, so I got a. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I got myself a medal. I got myself a medal right here. There we go. I got my uh, 15th anniversary anniversary company for us medal. This is actually really cool. This again, I'll, I'll kind of put that up. I I think that's pretty cool. That that's right. Great. Even when you fail so much. You can still succeed and you get a medal so you know i got my medal i got my my hero's duty medal so there you go all right oh we got a tank uh we got oh we got a pin we got a pin uh for and it's it's a it's a churchill i i i swear this is this a churchill i i'm i'm 90 percent sure it's a churchill Okay, because I know there's different variants, but I'm I'm pretty sure this is a Churchill. Um, yeah, so again, if it's a different variant, let me know. Okay, I also got this cool baggie. I have more rocks. Like, I'm not joking when I say this thing is filled with, like, random scraps and stuff that makes it seem like it's been in your grandfather's attic and just left there. Okay, so I'm laughing because it's right now 120 in the morning, right? Oh my god. I have a fifth, I have a whistle. I have the number 15 infantry officer's whistle. J. Hudson and Company, Bar Street, Hockey, Bury, made in England. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I got a, wait, hold on. I got a certificate of authenticity. This is to certify that the Metropolitan is uh, is the original trench whistle issued to infantry officers and NCOs during World War II. It had many use. I got use right now. Now again, it is 1.20 in the morning. There is a, I, my brother is in the other room with a corgi. So if I wanted to be a dick right now, I, I could blow on this, hypothetically, and make that Korg bark to high heaven right now with... <laughs> Be warned, 151. If you test me, I could blow on this whistle and <laughs> cost you hell. Hold on. Oh, of course, we can put the soldier right here. There we go. So, um, thank you to Relic for sending me this care package because it looks pretty good on my shelf. And now I finally have something con concretely Company of Heroes related uh, behind me that isn't just the wall, uh, the poster. So again, thank you so very much. All this little stuff that's just really, really cool. Um, seriously, thank you so very much. Um, and again, I'll figure out something to do with the poster and the flag, but uh, no, this is incredible. So again, thank you to whoever at Relic had the idea of sending, I believe me and a number of other content creators, this care package. Um, whoever had the genius idea to send me the 118th care package. You're, you're a good practical jokester. Very nice, very nice indeed. Um, but no, uh, again, thank you so very much. And here, the, I'm thinking the only thing I'm gonna talk to my chat about is my, my 12, I, is it 12? No, I think it's bigger than 12. Anyway, it's at least maybe 13 inch uh, Ymir statue. So of course, uh, for those who are uninformed, uh, again, this is Ymir. Definitely not something or anything related to Attack on Titan. Definitely not that Ymir. You were thinking about Ray Harryhausen's classic monster Ymir. That's what you're thinking of. Um, you, you're, I ended the video by showing my uh, my statue with a cross-eyed creature that looks like um, he has a mustache. 
Well, I, I guess he has a German mustache, so they, I guess they go. I'm, I'm barely keeping it together. At this point, it's like 140 after cleaning up a mess. So uh, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you like this content, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really, really does help out the channel. Um, I will eventually get the overview video out, but I feel like this is a little more important just because I'm sure you're going to enjoy this version of me uh, going over uh, a box that Relic sent me and all these cool awesome little goodies so again thank you to relic thank you for everyone watching this has been gray shot and i'm gonna go get some sleep y'all have a good night hey guys before you go i want to give a special shout out to patreon supporters folkford afria joey g240 ace shinobi warrior pyro shark little Koosh, and seth coopers thank you all for your incredible support you guys rock this has been gray shot 17 and his amazing patrons and i'll see all of you next time